Hey everyone, Chris here from the bench. If you're like me and decide and have built a LMT rifle from parts and not actually gone and purchased a complete rifle, you'll notice that perhaps your takedown pins are extremely tight when trying to assemble the upper to the lower. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is something that I think I saw it somewhere online where LMT offers the ability to fit your upper to your lower via the addition of these fitment tabs. And I don't know if they'll come across, but right here, right here and right there, on the opposite side, is a tab of material that is meant to be filed off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to file it off and see if I can get a better fit top to bottom, the upper receiver to the lower. Uh, I'll do it here on camera, but first I'm going to insert the a chamber, a bore guide into the upper to kind of keep the shavings from going inside. I don't really feel like cleaning off shavings. So I'll just uh, get a file. Metal file. Uh, I think this is a mill file. And I'm going to very carefully remove some material from the fitment fitting tabs. Uh, I don't have a easy way of holding this in the vise, in this orientation. But you know what? I think I'll remove the optic. Well, I wish I could tell you, show you what this looks like, but my overhead camera has just died. And I can't show you what I intended. But maybe this view here will help. I'll zoom in a little bit. So I'll take my file and do a couple of passes on each side on these fitting tabs. Actually, I'll do, I'll cover both at the same time. So there, just a couple passes. And now I will see if I can get a good fit between the upper and the lower. may take a couple of tries. So here we go. Front goes in really well. Oh yes. It's still tight with no rattle. but I can actually, well, maybe not. <clears throat> it's still really difficult. Oh boy. So I can still see some material. 
be removed. I may do one more pass of the file. Honestly, this is just way too tight. It doesn't need to be to that extent. I don't have space on the bench to do this right. All right. So let me do a couple more passes. This is all so impromptu. I don't have any scripting. On these videos so I apologize for the back and forth and seemingly disorganized way that I'm presenting these videos so there's no tabs on the other on the back end of the upper receiver none that I can see anyway just in the front and I'm hoping that they will allow me to fit this properly. I also have a couple of stones I can use to smooth it out even more. I got some filing stuck in the ejection board cover. But I don't see any filings. Yep, something did make it down here. God damn it. So I've got some grease in there that's catching most of it. Should be able to get them all out. All right, so let's see if this is any better. Actually, let me do this on the vise. And I'll swing this over. Well, it goes in real easy and now I can actually push it out by hand so we're good perfect so that's it uh, that's really all I wanted to show you if you're having fitment issues when building your own receivers uh, just uh, look for those tabs uh, located here on the front of the upper receiver uh, this is on the large frame MWS version. I think it's similar on the MRPs for the 556 small frame. But yeah, try it out. Let me know if that helps you. See you next time.